in New Orleans where everything's fine. All of them cats is drinking that wine, drinking that mess to their delight. When they gets drunk, start singing all night, drinking wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Drinking that mess is their delight. When they get drunk, start fighting all night. Knocking down windows and tearing out doors. Drinking half gallons and calling for more. Drinking wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Wine, 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 elderberry. Wine, 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 port and sherry. Wine, 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 blackberry. Wine, 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 half and half. Wine, 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 oh boy, pass that bottle to me. If you want to get along in New Orleans town, buy some wine and pass it all around. Age runs up to 49. All of those cats, they love sweet wine. Drinking wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Wine, 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 elderberry. Wine, 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 port and sherry. Wine, 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 blackberry. Wine, 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 half and half. Wine, 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 oh boy, pass that bottle to me. Now down on Rampart Street at Willie's Den, he wasn't selling but a little gin. One cat wanted a bottle of wine, and he hit that cat for a dollar and a dime. Drinking wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Wine, 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 elderberry. Wine, 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 port and sherry. Wine, 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 blackberry. Wine, 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 half and half. Wine, 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 oh boy, pass that bottle to me. Well, I've got a nickel, have you got a dime? Let's get together and get a little wine. Some buys a fifth, some buys a quart. When you're buying sherry, well, you're doing things smart. Drinking wine, spody oh, you're drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, you're drinking wine. Wine, spody oh, you're drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Drinking wine, spody oh, by Stick McGee and J. Mayo Williams. Stick McGee got his odd nickname um, because he used a stick to push around a cart and in that cart was his older brother Brownie McGee, the fantastic blues singer and guitarist who had contracted polio and because he pushed him around with a stick he became known as Stick McGee. Now this one sounds like a really typical sort of 12 bar rock and roll thing but there are a few nice little twists in it so let's just break it down if you can download the chart from below, the link is in the description, you'll see that I've actually got two charts for this because two bits of the tune follow a different pattern. Let's start from the beginning. We'll do our little intro and we'll go into the first verse. Our intro is really simple and I'll show you something that I tend to do with this because this tune really benefits from some careful strumming with your right hand as to which strings you hit. So I've got an E diminished seven, and a D sharp, I suppose you could call it an E flat diminished seven, but because we're in the key of E, that's a key that has sharps in the key signature, probably more, more correct to call it D sharp. And then our B7. But what I did on the intro, rather than playing full four string diminished seventh chords, I just played the top three strings. So I could play basically a D7 chord shape like that, at the second and third frets here, then slide it down and then just move that finger to make my B7. And I'm just aiming my strum at the highest three strings and in fact I rested my thumb on the lowest string so it wouldn't ring, like this. And then when I move my index finger over to the first fret of the D string, I make my strum aim for the bottom two or three strings sounds more like it does on the recording and also it gives a bit more of a difference from this chord to this chord. It just emphasizes that difference a little bit more. Incidentally, 
I am working here from the recording by Stick McGee. There are loads of other versions of this. Jerry Lee Lewis did it. Richard Thompson did it. So many people have recorded it and they are almost all completely different. So if the version you're listening to doesn't quite match up with this one, again, link down there below to the recording by Stick McGee. And that's what I'm following here. Though not in the same key, that's in a rather nasty key. I've put it in a much more you friendly key. So that's our intro. So half a bar of that first chord, the E diminished seventh, but just the highest three strings. Slide it down for the other half of the bar and then a whole bar of B7. Two, three, four. And then we get to our E chord. And that's where we start our first verse. We're going to be doing a shuffle pattern here. I'll close in on my fingers in a second. But what we're really doing on the E chord is that we're adding the second fret of our B string on and off to make a little shuffle pattern like this. Off, on, off, on. So it's down, up, with it off, put that finger down, down, up, and repeat. And this isn't like a standard 12 bar blues because actually that first line, what we'd normally expect to be the first four bars, is actually the first eight bars. It stays on that E chord for ages, like this. Down in New Orleans where everything's fine, all of them cats are drinking that wine. Then we do it again. Drinking that mess is their delight. Then a stop. When they get drunk, start singing all night. So it was just E up until that point. And that stop just adds a bit of drama to it. Then we move to our A chord. And rather than playing a, an A chord like this or like a bar, I'm going to just put my bar across the second fret. Now that would normally be an A6, but again, I'm being careful with this hand and I'm only trying to hit the bottom two, maybe three strings. I'm really avoiding that highest string because then I can use my ring finger or even my little finger to do that same shuffle pattern. This time I'm adding the fourth fret on my lowest string. Now it doesn't matter if you happen to hit that one now and again, it won't sound terrible, but it sounds better if I just try and hit a couple of strings here. Keep a nice small strum. So that's our A chord. So that's the chorus essentially, this bit. This, when it changes chord, we've got to the chorus. Drinking wine, spody only drinking wine. Now, lots of versions here would go back to the E. Drinking wine, spody only drinking wine. Loads of versions. Jerry Lee Lewis's version does this. So many do. And they make it more like a standard blues pattern. But Stick McGee's version doesn't change back to the E until the end of the second line. So you get this. Drinking wine, spody only drinking wine. Wait for it. Wine, spody, oldy, drinking wine. It's a subtle thing, but I think it makes that particular version just a little bit more interesting and different to lots of the other versions that you'll find. Then we have our, our third chord, really, because this is a three chord song. There is a fourth chord if you look at the chart, but it's kind of a little cheaty thing. It's really quite nice. I'll show you that in a minute. But our, our third big chord is our B7. And when we go to that one, we haven't got a shuffle happening on that one, so that's nice and easy. We just hold that chord down. Wine, spody, oldy, drinking wine. And then when we get to pass that bottle to me, see I put C7, but a little asterisk. And at the bottom, I'm saying it's not really a C7. We'd have to refinger that whole thing. And it works, it's absolutely fine. But to add a little bit of grit and a little bit of tension to it, we're actually just going to slide our B7 up one fret, which leaves the open B string from our previous chord still ringing. It sounds a bit weird on its own. It sounds pretty horrible, but if you just go up and back down, it sounds great. So you get this. So that whole chorus is drinking wine, spody oldy, drinking wine. Wine, spody, oldy, drinking wine. Wine, spody, oldy, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. And there are two 
bars of E after that. The thing about this one is it seems to have an extra bar, but the extra bar isn't really, it doesn't feel like it's on the end. It feels like we should have two bars of E at the end. It's actually where that B7 lasts for two, then goes to the C7, asterisk, and B7. We're sort of squeezing an extra bar in there. It gives us a bit of breathing space at the end. But don't forget, especially if you're playing this on your own, when you get to that last chord, you can stay on that as long as you want because the next part starts on that chord. So here we go. We've got all the way to the end of the chorus. The next verse is the same as the first verse, i.e. all E, all the way through with that shuffle rhythm. And then we do the drinking wine spodioli part all over again. Then we get to the only other section in the tune. So let's get through it to that point. And we'll do the intro as well. One, two, three, four. Down in New Orleans where everything is fine All of them cats is drinking that wine Drinking that mess to their delight When they get drunk start singing all night Drinking wine, spody odie drinking wine Wait for the change Wine, spody odie drinking wine Wine, spody odie drinking wine Slide it up and down past the Second verse, drinking that mess is their delight. When they get drunk, start fighting all night. Knocking down windows and tearing out doors. Stop drinking half a gallon and calling for more. Drinking wine, spody odie, drinking wine. Wait for it, spody odie, drinking wine. Wine, spody odie, drinking wine, slide up and down. Pass that bottle to me. And now we have the only different section. And on your page that you've downloaded there, this is the second chart at the top. So far, we've just played that top one over and over again. But now we have this extra bit, the wine, 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 and then the shouts of elderberry and port and sherry and whatever. This bit is much more like a standard 12 bar blues, though as you will notice from the chart, it's actually a 13 bar blues. And I think on the recording occasionally, it's a 12 and a half bar blues. So just like the other bit, there's an extra bar, or sometimes half a bar, tagged on the end. But again, it doesn't really matter because we're just filling time and we're on the chord that the next bit is gonna start on. So this bit goes, E chord, wine, 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 elderberry. Wine, 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 port and sherry, A chord. Wine, 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 blackberry. Wine, 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 half and half. Wine, 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 slide up and down again. Pass that bottle to me. And you've essentially got all the ingredients for the rest of the song now, because if we go into the second column, we've got a verse we've got a chorus, we've got the wine, wine, wine refrain, we've got a verse, we've got a chorus, we've got the wine, wine, wine refrain, we've got a final verse, a final chorus, but no wine, 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 I've just stopped after the chorus part. So let's assume we've gone through all of that because it's all stuff you've done before and we're on the last chorus and we're gonna bring the song to a close. All I did was I got back to my final E chord after that, pass that bottle to me. And I put down my ring finger, just like the shuffle pattern we've been doing on the E chord. But instead of taking it off, I put it down and then I raise it by one more to the third fret. Second string, third fret. I can either slide that finger up or add my little finger. And that is an E7 and a great little sort of cliche ending for the song. And notice I'm hitting that on an upstroke. It's pushed ahead of the beat a bit. Down, up, down with that finger down now and then my little finger straight away on the up. So let's do that last chorus and put that ending on. Drinking wine, spody odie, drinking wine. Wine, spody odie, drinking wine. Wine, spody odie, drinking wine. Pass that bottle to me. Great way to finish off the song. 
It's a great fun song to play this one is and you can mess around with it to suit your own version um, just as everyone who has covered it has done. You don't have to sing all of the verses. You certainly don't have to put that wine, wine, wine thing in three times like I did, but that's what's on the original record. That's why I did it. You could cut some of those out and just have it once in the middle or a couple of times. It might depend on whether you've got you know, your solo performer, if you've got a band, you might want to give people in the band solos. And if you do that, you might want to cut some of the song bits out so that the song doesn't go on too long. And if you can get the audience singing wine, 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 instead of, you know, having to do two parts like I was, you just sing the elderberry, port and cherry or whatever on the end. Then if the audience are getting into that, you might want to keep that in three times because it's a nice thing for the audience to sing. I hope you've had fun with this one and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.